how to access inner peace instantly. For peace to be true peace, it would have to be something that's always here, always instantly accessible. Otherwise, you'd never be able to be at peace thinking that at any moment it could be taken away. But what we're talking about is something that can never be taken away. In fact, it's the only thing that cannot be removed from you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access inner peace instantly. How to access an inner peace that's always instantly available. Because we're never going to get to the most perfect life situation, are we? We can't expect to feel permanently emotionally clear and free of every speck of negative thinking and feeling and in the most perfect life situation. What we can do is do our best to feel better and get ourselves to a more comfortable, peaceful situation and state of health and state of feeling. But there has to be a deeper peace beyond circumstances and not depending on how we're feeling, what we're thinking and what situation we're in. For true peace to exist, it has to be something that never goes away. In fact, it's the only thing that never does go away. But then you might say, Alex, if it never goes away, why don't I see it? Why don't I feel it? What if I was to tell you, it's just that you haven't been looking? Or maybe more accurately, you've been looking elsewhere as I was, looking out into the external world for permanent peace or lasting contentment. But like me, you may have been around the block enough times now to get the feeling that maybe it's not out there. Isn't this why they call it inner peace? So let's see it together, right now, seeing as it's always present, right? You are experiencing, correct? There's this whole experience, this whole unfolding right in front of you. And it's this experience that must arise in some kind of space. There must be some kind of substance or field or screen that brings it all into being. Don't think about this intellectually. This piece isn't the domain of the mind. It's not in the domain of thinking. It's experiential, and you find it with your attention, not with your thinking. Right now, use your attention to see everything you're seeing, hear everything you're hearing, and feel everything you're feeling. Completely zoom out to the maximum degree. All of this experience appears in some kind of space, right? Including all the noise of Mexico here. For everything to appear, there must be a space, a substance, a medium or a screen that brings it into being, right? And some people call this being. Some people call it awareness. Without awareness, there would be no world, would there? If the world were to disappear, there would be only awareness. But without awareness, nothing would come into being. You can call it being, awareness, or consciousness. And it's not really a thing as such, is it? It's the space that gives things their existence. It's just this one single pure field of beingness with no distinction. See it with me now. It hides in plain sight. It hides right under our noses the whole time. This is your being. This is the core of who you are. You are this being this awareness, this consciousness. 
And peace is your nature. Peace is the nature of this being, of your being. It's the nature of this awareness. As in, see it with me now. It can never be disturbed. It's undisturbable. You've experienced so many different feelings in your life, sometimes extremely painful. But have they ever disturbed this awareness, this beingness? However disturbed the content of your life has been, has it ever disturbed this space? Has the space ever been disturbed by even your most intense feelings or pain? Whatever you're feeling now in your body, there is a space that surrounds and is underneath even the most intense part of the feeling. There's a screen underneath the content, whether it be children shouting or bikes going past or dogs barking. There's a stillness underneath all the movement. There's a formlessness underneath the form. There's God's being in everything. Or if you don't like that word, there is consciousness in everything. The one consciousness. And it's identical in everyone. Everyone's thoughts and feelings and memories and hopes and dreams are different. But the fact that we are aware, that we are consciousness, is identical in all of us. It's the one I am that looks out of many eyes. It's this field of aware spaciousness right here, right now. And it's always here. It's you. You're always here. You're always present. In fact, you are the presence. Being present is just being knowingly yourself, being knowingly this. And you, as this awareness, have never been disturbed by the appearance. You, as this consciousness, have never been harmed by even your most intense thoughts or feelings. You're still in pristine condition, right? You're still here, in between the thoughts, silently watching. So just be, knowingly, the one who's undisturbable, the one who's unharmable. Be knowingly, the undisturbable field of awareness. Stay as the screen. Stay conscious of this consciousness. Stay aware of this awareness. Stay aware of yourself, your true self. You may experience thoughts and feelings of great disturbance internal sirens or external sirens. But all of these disturbances is in the thoughts and feelings and the content. All of the disturbance is in the world of form. Remember and see in your experience that there is a formlessness underneath the form. There is an awareness prior to the form. There is a sense of purely I am before the notion of I am this and I am that comes in and you identify with mental narratives about yourself and your life. There is a simple I amness, a pure beingness that at the core of who you are pervades everything and it's undisturbed by everything, undisturbed by the content, and it's completely free and without any preconditions. It's always instantly and immediately available. 
it's your ever-present, unchanging, undying, infinitely permanent refuge, and it's you. It's you. That's how to access inner peace instantly and forever. But in reality, there is no how. It's not something that you do. And there is no way to do something about it, to achieve it. You just have to see it. You just have to see the stillness underneath the form. See the screen before the content. See yourself before your thoughts and feelings and even the content of your life. See yourself before the world. You are prior to the world. You are prior to birth and death. You're prior to time. You are unchanging and ever present. You are peace. And that concludes the video. If you go down to the description of this video, you'll find a link to a free guided breathwork session and also a link to apply for the free one-to-one -one for the Awaken Aware program. Peace and blessings. See you in the next video. Lots of background noise in this one. Mexico's lively this evening. Love you all. Peace.